Hey gang, Tony here. Cheers, drinking a pumpkin ale. Uh, this video is going to post probably many days after my other videos where I'm drinking the same beer and wearing the same clothes, but I'm making all the videos together. The reason I'm not posting this one right away is because it is an announcement. It is a reveal. It is something that you may or may not want to watch, and I'll explain in a second. I'm going to just continue drinking this beautiful pumpkin porter. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bask in the glory of Halloween backdrop. Yes. What? That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm -mm. So this is very exciting for me because it includes a lot of things that uh, make me very happy. First of all, this is about a new website. My favorite new website. I mean, it's not a new website in the sense that it just started because they've been around for a while, but it's new to me. I'm just kind of scratching the surface of this place. It's of course Retro Days. I've talked about them quite a bit. I've unboxed stuff from them. Uh, I've told you about them. But this is a very special announcement for me because it is the return of their Halloween goodie pack. Now this Halloween goodie pack is going to be available for points in their point shop on Retro Days. The way in which you get one of these bad boys right here is simply by becoming part of the community. You join the site, it's free to join, write articles, get some points. Post some video, uh, some uh, VHS cover scans, get some points. Post a classified ad, get some points. There's other ways of doing it, but once you have enough points, I believe this is going to be worth... I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> this is going to be worth 300 points, so once you get 300 points, you can order it. You don't even have to pay shipping. They send it out to you, and it's yours. Uh, I will say this one thing. If you're going to join the community and do this, become part of the community. Talk to us in the forums. Uh, join and stick around. It's a great place. Okay, so here comes the part where I tell you to leave if you want this to be a mystery. So if you are already part of the website, if you know you're going to order one of these and you like mystery, don't watch this. If you don't mind finding out what's going to be in the box or you prefer to find out what's in the box before spending your points on it, or taking the time to gain the points, then continue watching and you'll find out what's in there. But, before you go, I will say this one thing. One of the items in this box is a hands-made, exclusive creation by me. That's what I've been talking about from way back, and I'm very excited about. So each box will have one of, these, one of my handmade items in there, and this will be the only place that you can get one of these. Alright? So... Let's get into the box. Leave if you don't want to see the mystery. I'm very excited. I can't wait. Let's give you guys a little sneak peek. What? Oh no! Oh. I'm looking because I want to just enjoy... Oh. This is going to be great. Okay. We have... Like our last... Halloween box, the one from last year, they had little trick-or-treat cards, and this one is a Universal Monsters trick-or-treat cards. Still in the package. These are awesome. Um, trading card treats from it. Impel Marketing, 1991 Universal Studios. So these were given out in lieu of candy in trick-or-treat bags, or with candy. I love this. <laughs> awesome. Alright, next up we have... Oh wow, yeah. This is a still sealed scary sound effects, scary sound effects from McDonald's. So it's a cassette tape of scary sounds from McDonald's still sealed. Now I believe what I read is that the first 10 boxes, the first 10 boxes that are ordered will get this. So you have to be one of the first 10 to order in order to get this bad boy. That's awesome. Still sealed. Part of me really wants to open this, but you guys know how I am. Next up, we have... <laughs> I love these things. A very cool... Mohawked skeleton with, when you squeeze it, popping out eyes. 
Oh my god. Too cool. Oh man. Next up. Oh wow. This is awesome. This is a still sealed McDonald's toy. I got Grimace, and he comes with a snap-on ghost suit. So that's a Halloween McDonald's toy with Grimace and a snap-on Halloween suit, ghost suit. That's awesome. I'm not the biggest collector of like the McDonald's and Burger King toys and stuff like that, but when it's something like this, oh, you better believe I collect that. Oh. So far, this is outstanding. I love everything in there. I did not know what was in this box, by the way. I only know, obviously, the thing I made for it, but everything else, I don't know what's in there. Um, all right, I want, let's see what this is. Ooh, what are you? I th think... All right, I did this the last time with the last Halloween box. There was stuff in there that I didn't know how to work it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make that same mistake. There's something here that I'm pretty sure I need to read. So I'm gonna put it off to the side, and then we will find out. I'll show you what that is in a second. All right, is this the? Yes, this is the instruction. So I guess I can show you now. So it does come with instructions, and what it is is a multifunctional emulation con emulational control <laughs> what i don't it's a scolopendra scolopendra look at this thing oh this is kind of amazing holy crap it it's one of the most cool looking things I've seen in a while. You might remember last time there was a flying eyeball. So I guess this guy moves. There's wheels on the bottom. And then it comes with a charger. It comes with batteries. And it comes with what I can only assume is the controller. Which looks like a little egg. It has a switch there. It has some directional maneuvering on there. Now, I'm not going to have video of this working right now. Yeah, this is the transmitter because uh, I don't want to waste your time trying to put batteries in or anything, but once I get it working, I'll probably maybe splice the video together for you. All right, so that's amazing. We got a DVD here. It is TV Spookiest Halloween Episodes. Very cool. 13 episodes. I think I actually bought this last year, so I may end up giving this away in my own giveaway. I'm going to have a Halloween giveaway in a few days, so I may end up putting that in my Halloween giveaway. Uh, that's a great addition, though, especially if you don't have it. And then we have, oh my god, are these, these are, these are totally Halloween pogs. <laughs> so we got a Grim Reaper pog. We have a Trick or Treat pog. And we have a jack-o'-lantern pog. Mm -mm. Haven't seen pogs in a while. I have. I, th I think I still have my old pogs, actually. And, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. You guys are going to be very, very happy with this. Next up, we have a Papercraft Halloween. Six awesome 3D Halloween creatures. Oh, wow. So, it's uh, a little Halloween paper creator craft... Halloween thing, where you make these little three-dimensional paper crafts. On the back shows a skeleton. There's a bunch of stuff that they that I got in the last Halloween box, and this one that I'm just going to save up for October and do. Like, I'm totally doing this. I'm not going to save this. I'm, I'm playing with this. That is going to be so much fun. And we have, at the very bottom of the box here, if I can get it out, come on, buddy. There he is. A uh, Marvel Comics Werewolf by Night When Dracula Strikes comic book. Damn. That is a cool comic. Look at that. Holy cow. That's really, really cool. 
I want to read it, but I also, I don't know if these are like, I don't want to, like, mess with it if I, you know, if I don't have to, but I kind of want to read it, so we'll see if I could be very, very delicate with it when I take it out of there. It looks like, it's very, it's a pretty old comic, it looks like 20 cents, you know? When's the last time you bought a comic for 20 cents? Eh? Yeah? It's been a while. Very cool, man. Alright, that's, that's awesome. That's so cool. And there's still the one left item. Okay, so this is what I made. Uh, you guys who know me know what I do, but those of you who don't know what I do, I sculpt, and then I create molds and cast them in resin. I hand paint everything, and you know, sometimes they're, you know, uh, magnets, sometimes they're figures, depends. Uh, but for the exclusive item for Retro Days that will be in this box, you're getting a one-of-a-kind, one of only 30 made, that will ever be made, magnet. So this is the magnet that I made for the Halloween goodie pack for Retro Days. Obviously we got the Retro Days logo in full Halloween regalia. And I added a little Sam Trick or Treat lollipop to it. Got some nice fall leaves underneath. Jack-o'-lantern right there. I, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. So I will uh, affix three ceramic magnets to the back of this guy. You could just see how uh, the dimensions there. It's a pretty big magnet. Most of my magnets are a lot smaller than this. So you can see compared to my hand, it's a pretty biggie. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. This is the prototype paint job. So the paint is going to look probably a little different as I uh, dial in the colors the way I want them to be. But this is a pretty good indication of what you're going to get. And like I said, this is exclusive to the Halloween goodie pack through Retro Days. I will not be selling these on my website. These are just for um, Retro Days. And there are only going to be 30 of these ever made. Alright? So you want to jump on this if you can. I hope you guys liked that, and I hope you enjoyed everything else that came in the box. I'm going to splice a little video at the end showing that giant... I forget what they call it. It looks like a millipede, though. I'm going to do some video of that thing working. And otherwise, happy Halloween. Cheers. Breathe deep at the night. I'll catch you all later. Bye.